Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessAtrader.com uh, nightly a wrap up show. Um, yeah, what you're seeing in front of you is pretty real. Okay. Uh, if you go back to a couple of weeks, it all started. We, kept, we, we keep on reiterating the point every single day. And I, I, I think, again, the, the really smart crowd on Wall Street, the it doesn't make sense crowd, the 25 million people filing for unemployment crowd, the stay at home ban crowd, it doesn't make sense crowd, right? Market doesn't make sense. Remember that a couple of days, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we kind of realized that it doesn't make a difference anymore. Okay, I, I think more people are going to be more on tilt in this move in the market to the upside uh, just in the last three weeks than we actually saw the destruction of equity prices to the downside in March. And after tomorrow, we're probably after this gap up tomorrow. Uh, and we'll we'll talk about individual uh, individual pivots in a second, but we're we're literally going to eliminate those losses. We're we're going to eliminate those losses for the mar for for the month of March. And and I I'm telling you, when it's all said and done, and you know all the smoke is clear, you're going to see funds blowing the hell out, not on the way down, on the way up. Because again, it didn't make sense. They were going to have crappy earnings, blah 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 blah. And I've 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 always said. Uh, for years and years and years, there's so many hedge funds out there and blah, blah, blah. It's much easier to raise money than to manage money. And the most craziest part about this is nobody's ever experienced it, but yet it's starting to get painfully obvious that no matter what you do on the short side as a longer term thesis is being completely pushed to the side. And ever since uh, earnings has begun, uh, two and a half weeks ago, okay, we've been talking about the possibilities of company after company after company, no matter what they come out with, okay, doesn't make a difference. No matter how crappy their earnings are, the, the market is going to give every single company a pass. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Uh, it started off, and again, the most amazing part, it started off with IBM, right? It really did. It started off with IBM. Uh, they came out with earnings, and ever since earnings, the stock has gone from 112 to 130. Okay, Caterpillar uh, came out a couple of days ago, down 20 percent. Blah blah blah, all across the board. Uh, the stock is, you know, the stock is literally, uh, the stock is literally 15, 20 points uh, above earnings. And again, if you look at what's happening this evening, okay, and if you thought the the companies that were suffering because of some sort of slowdown in closing the doors or whatever the case may be. Look look at tech, right? Microsoft exploding, Amazon. Amazon is, is reporting tomorrow. This is just on the tail, uh, on the fumes of what's going on tonight. You got Facebook surging. Tesla just going out of its mind, completely out of its mind. You got Microsoft surging. So if you thought uh, today's 3.5% move on the NASDAQ was crazy for shorts, wait till the open tomorrow, right? Just wait till the open, you're getting ridiculous pushes uh, after the close. And, and again, you know, I didn't wake up one morning and said, wow, this, this market's gonna completely uh, disregard bad earnings. It, again, you know, you, you see it, you start to develop it year after year uh, through different crises. If you go back to even the 9-11, you know, the, the, the quarter after 9-11, a lot of companies were getting mulligans. Because again, think about what was happening during that time. When you saw earnings coming out after the mortgage crisis, right? In the middle of the mortgage crisis. And again, if a company didn't announce that they're closing down their doors after tens of billions of dollars of write downs, the market kind of gave them a mulligan. That's why a lot of these companies uh, actually survived. And this, you know, fast forward 2020, Unfortunately, a lot of funds are going to remember 2020, not because of the destruction of equity prices because of this rabid, nasty, ugly ass uh, COVID-19 is because they were on the wrong side of common sense. And again, 
that, that, you know, that's what I've been saying for years, man. I'm an idiot, man. I've been saying this for, for, for years of doing this broadcast. I'm not smart enough to figure out next week or next month and next year, man. I'm just trying to take it a uh, day at a time and, you know, collecting that data. And for, you know, for all the new traders that are going through a market like this or any market, okay, any market of, you know, imperfect logical thinking, just always put it into your memory back and memory bank and kind of store it aside. So next time around, and God forbid we have something like this five years from now, 10 years from now, 12 years from now, whatever the case may be, you'll remember what the tendency was of the market, that nothing made sense, okay? That stocks didn't react to bad news, that companies came out with horrific quarters and were still embraced. And all these things you start to put into your mental Rolodex and you start utilizing them year after year after year. And remember guys, if you're a brand new trader, uh, remember, like I said a couple of weeks ago, you're going to be a better trader in year 10 than you are at year two. It's just the reality. Experience uh, is going to help you. Eventually it's gonna get you to where you need to be. The only thing you need to do is stay patient, stay calm, and everything will kind of work out. But again, you need to retain bad, you know, you really need to retain good information. There's so much information out there. And unfortunately for all those people that are sitting there, I can't believe it, it doesn't make sense. Again, it doesn't need to make sense. So hopefully <clears throat> everybody uh, is doing well. Again, uh, you know, pretty solid pivots today. Again, beta's crazy. I mean, beta's absolutely out of its mind. Um, Netflix, uh, you know, Netflix was a good turnaround play today. Roku was a good turnaround play today. You've seen the NVIDIA, uh, good plays. There was actually a lot of value to the downside as well with the same names of NVIDIA, excuse me, with Netflix, with Roku, with BYND. So you had something for everybody. Uh, the, the key to the game is, and again, not to get caught up in the bright light. So for example, for tomorrow's session, I'm not really concentrating on Tesla and Amazon and Facebook and Microsoft. I'm gonna be looking at the laggards, right? The companies that got beaten up or are in consolidation mode. Like for example, like Netflix. Again, we caught a pretty good pivot today uh, in Netflix. And again, I'm looking for Netflix to reclaim supply. I'm looking for uh, Roku to reclaim supply. I'm looking for BYND. And again, they don't have to do it tomorrow, but I'm, you know, these are the plays that I'm watching for tomorrow to reclaim supply. I'm watching for Alibaba tomorrow to kind of wake up and reclaim supply. I'm watching for Ch Chipotle that actually had a really good quarter, right? Really good quarter and actually really started off uh, this aggressive buying to start coming out of this three, four day area of supply to reclaim it to go back to the highs. I'm watching the shops that had the really, really big run and trying to desperately coming out of this 60 minute cycle. So again, we have to concentrate on the ones that are lagging, that haven't had, uh, re reported yet. They're coming out of this channel. And with this momentum, uh, it becomes a really, really good area uh, to take advantage again of the ignorant of the you know of the stubborn shorts that keep on saying this is impossible this doesn't make sense this can't happen it's happening and it's happening right in front of your face so uh let's talk about uh today's pivots uh, again a uh, pretty pretty good uh pretty good indication today yesterday's video if you guys remember the, the question was was amd right amd going to pull down everything else or is google for god's sake of google of all things gonna pull everything up. And again, I, I my first instinct was, well, I thought semiconductors were gonna get pulled down. Again, I was wrong, who cares, right? Who cares, okay? I'm not sitting there betting on semiconductors overnight. Who gives, right? Who cares? We're waiting for confirmation and we got our answer, man. This market is just, just an absolute rocket ship, really, really rocket ship. If you thought uh, the surges were insane in 2019, this is, 220 with everything going on this is just like there's panic buying in some of these names which is unbelievable so let's talk about this so again like i said there was value to the downside to the upside uh, obviously tesla is having its own song and dance here uh, at the close but on uh, netflix uh, this is the one that started off the day uh 398 if it builds below can flush more and again the market started going uh, you know the market started popping this morning because you you, you know gilead got halted and um you know dr fauci said hey man this is uh this is this is good news you know this is good news and you know here was netflix 
Here is the whole pivot. This here is the whole pivot. Excuse me. Here is the whole pivot right over here. Here is the whole channel here, uh, which was uh, 398. Excuse me, right here. 398, 398. It broke the 398. Went all the way down to 393. Uh, Gilead again. You know, 8750. If it builds, can push again. This is where Dr. Fauci started talking about. Uh, this was actually really, really good news. This is you know pretty good stamp of approval. So here was the 8750. Right here was the 8750. Um, was it here? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. It was right here. Uh, here was the 8750 on uh, Gilead, and it broke and just exploded. It just absolutely exploded. Uh, I keep on saying 8750. I, mean, my, I think my dyslexia is kicking in. I, I wrote the wrong price. It was obviously 8250. I, I wrote I wrote the wrong price. Uh, obviously, guys, I apologize. Everybody in the webinar knew exactly what the hell we were talking about. It was this 82, uh, 8270 level, and just exploded. Went all the way to 85. Um, pardon me, my dyslexia kicked in. Uh, Roku, again, perfect example of good value to the downside, value to the upside. Roku, 118 support. If it builds below, can flush. Here was Roku, right? Here was Roku right here. This whole 118 area, right? 118 uh, went down to like 115 and change. On Roku, uh, W, I don't think W did anything. 122 for Builds Loke and Flush. I wasn't watching W, so I apologize. Uh, no, held the 122.30 again, so that never uh, that never triggered. Uh, Boeing, Boeing, keep this keep this Boeing pivot in mind. There was actually a sneaky pivot. Okay, there was actually a sneaky pivot uh, to to the upside. You know, this obviously went nuts as well. Went to like 45, uh, but there was actually a sneaky pivot. Uh, B, Y, and D. Uh, 100, if it builds below, can flush. Here was BYND. Here was BYND. Uh, it took out the $100.80, went down to 97.90s. Uh, big move there as well. Uh, Gilead, again, it was a better, better pivot lower. Uh, take on the way down, right? Take on the way down, new lows. Um, you know, 97 yesterday's lows, uh, take on the way down again, nice move on Netflix. Here was the sneaky pivot in the afternoon, excuse me, right before lunchtime, uh, 138.60 on Boeing needs to build. If it can build above that, you can sh should see the highs. Remember that 140.75 area, right? That we talked about below. So here is the sneaky pivot on Boeing, right? Here's a sneaky pivot right here on Boeing. You see this candle right here, guys? This is what we talk about, the sneaky pivot, right? So there's 138.60, okay? Here is the pre-market highs, what we talked about, 140.75, 141. And this thing just absolutely exploded to 47. Uh, congratulations for all you guys who caught that uh, as well. Uh, again, take on the way up, Boeing fire, blah, blah, blah. 142.70s next supply just went through it. it just went through it like it wasn't uh, even there. 82.70 take on the way up again went to 85. Uh, big move there as well. And I said, hey, listen, great job. Um, I stopped trading uh, at lunchtime. Uh, I think my my my, my mom's uh, my mom's delivery. I think something happened to it, so I had a. Uh, I had to uh, drive uh, to my mom's house. Uh, luckily, I had an, a bunch of food in my own house to deliver her food. So I was kind of done. Uh, I was kind of done with the day. I came back a little bit right before the close. So again, Gilead exploding. Uh, so again, great job there as well. And, uh, you know, here's I posted. Uh, there was some bets, uh, pretty notable bets here for Tesla, Facebook. Uh, before the earnings, you can see a pretty aggressive bet here before the earnings into the 800 calls. This guy got ridiculously paid a big very aggressive buyer in the 1320s for june uh, and then you saw a bunch of call buying coming in for facebook uh, you saw the 200 calls the 215 calls the 210 calls what a lot of really good uh really really a lot of good um you know good premium uh being bet you can see that uh on the second one as long as well uh, you know, good bets here as well. One guy, unfortunately, wah, 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 not going to make any money there. Um, so again, business as usual, guys, the market is uh, just crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. Um, I think tomorrow, uh, tomorrow you have uh, Amazon, uh, you have Apple tomorrow. So it's just going to get crazier and crazier. The, again, the question for Amazon and Apple, again, are, you know, is the market going to, uh, you know, going to reward them with this bullish activity or are, you know, is there going to be finally profit taking in one of these names uh, that had a, a major, major, uh, that had a major run up ahead? And again, all these answers will, will definitely, uh, will definitely um, get answered. Uh, Tesla is just running up here 
<laughs> it's going to be a 900 here at the you know before the open. Uh, again, crazy market. Again, I think the value tomorrow. Uh, will be the stocks that are kind of going to wake up, right? The, you know, the Alibabas, the Chipotles of the world, uh, the Netflix is if it gets going as well. Uh, there was a good pivot on Netflix. I forgot to put it into the private Twitter. Uh, I bought the pivot on off that 11, uh, 11 and change area. It spiked up as high as the 16, but I, I was making my, my, most of my sales in the 12s. So that was fine as well. Uh, so anyway, you know, what are you going to say, man? What are you going to say? Uh, again, I think the smartest people... Uh, in this market kind of have figured out uh, what the market is not doing, okay, and kind of switch gears. Uh, I think the idiots like me are just kind of just literally taking it day by day, uh, pivot by pivot, channel by channel. Again, it's just not about being right. Nobody cares about being right. It's all about putting yourself in a position of safety. Uh, and as I say, every single, uh, every single time out, you lead uh, with your shield, not with your chin. So tomorrow, obviously, is going to be a very, very aggressive session. Uh, we're going to look for the value, uh, see where the channels confirm, and hopefully uh, works out to our benefit. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Love you all. Stay safe, and I will see you on the feed tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.